Hello and thank you for watching the CyberTuner iPhone tutorial series and congratulations on equipping your business with the most advanced tuning system on the inner planets. We want you to get the very best out of your CyberTuner system. This is the basics of IRCT, getting started video. We'll take you through what you can expect to see and do for the first few minutes of using IRCT at a piano and get you up and running on a great start. These are the very basics. We won't be getting into any advanced features at all, just what you need to use the program to produce a quality tuning. As always, there's a lot of material to cover, so don't hesitate to push the pause button or write something down if you feel the need to. Here we have a freshly installed copy of IRCT on an iPad which we're using for demonstration purposes. IRCT looks much the same on an iPhone or iPod Touch. Tap on the program icon to start CyberTuner. CyberTuner will ask you a few questions when we get started so we can provide you with support. You can skip this, but it's highly recommended you don't, and you will be unable to access IRCT support until you do register. Let's go ahead and do that now. Press the register button and CyberTuner will connect to the CyberCloud and calibrate your device automatically. Press the done button to continue. Notice the I button at the upper right hand side of the window. This is a help button. It's a new feature to the iPhone version and it's present on most screens. The first thing we need to do is record a piano in CyberTuner's Chameleon module. That gives CyberTuner a great feel for what kind of piano you're tuning, how it's scaled, and how it should be tuned. Go ahead and mute all but one string for the A's shown on the screen. Then hit the record button and play the A's one by one at a nice mezzo forte. Notice the numbers above and below the keyboard. The colored icons below show how confident CyberTuner is in the samples it has to work with. A green sample is well beyond the limits of excellent human hearing. Yellow is for your judgment, and red should be resampled if at all possible. CyberTuner is extremely good at filtering out non-piano noise, so solving the problem is usually either a matter of playing the note more consistently or moving the microphone, however there are some instruments which are simply not consistent. The numbers on the top are how sharp or flat the instrument is compared to an A440 tuning based on what CyberTuner knows at any point. To make use of the information we just collected through CyberTuner, press the chameleon button. This will calculate a tuning and take us to CyberEar, which is where we'll spend the vast majority of our time tuning. CyberTuner's main feature is the spinner. It moves to the left and spins counterclockwise. If the note is flat, and moves to the right and spins clockwise. If the note is sharp, as we approach the correct pitch, the spinner will slow down and move toward the center and blush. 
You can control what note you're tuning by tapping on the left or the right to move one note, swipe to the left or the right to move up or down an octave, or use the automatic note switcher, which listens to the tuner play the piano and follows up or down chromatically. You can disable the automatic note switcher by pressing on the button on the left. A few other useful items. In landscape mode, a keyboard at the bottom shows us exactly where we are in the tuning. We can select a pitch to tune to by pressing the button in the upper right hand corner. Right now it says A440 because that's what it's set to. We can select A441, A439, whatever we need. There's also a useful button in the lower left hand corner that allows us to reset to A440 quickly. Let's look at the tuning modes we have available. Touch the mode button. In landscape orientation, this will be a small button on the right showing the name of the mode. Cyber Ears modes are divided into final pass and rough pass. The rough passes. Pitch raise mode dynamically takes over pull into account for when the pitch needs to be changed. We have modes for anything between small adjustments to chip tunings where we're changing the pitch over a semitone. Any mode with over pull calculation will ask for some basic scaling information such as where the plate struts are and how many bichords are on the treble bridge. Before we begin a pass it's important to tell CyberTuner whether we're starting a new or resuming a pass, say if we had needed to make some changes halfway through or we got over our head with a medium pitch raise and need to change to large. There are some extremely well designed safety smarts built in, but ultimately CyberTuner puts you, the tuner, in control and will do what you tell it to, even if it's the wrong thing. In that case, CyberTuner might be using information from the last piano you tuned and give less than its normally great results. So please, make sure that you tap Resume, only if you're in the middle of a pitch raise or smart tune pass. Otherwise, tap Start New to erase the previous tuning's data. In the Final Pass area, we have the standard Final Pass mode, Fine Tune. The spinner moves normally and targets precisely where Chameleon calculated the pitch should be. It's great for checkups, touch-ups, and tunings where you really want to leave the overall pitch right where it is. Smart Tune is the mode you'll be tuning in most of the time. It's a highly adapted version of pitch raise mode for pianos which are close to on pitch, but produces a tuning which ends up right on. You'll notice that the setup window asks for a little bit more information than pitch raise modes, so it can do just that. There's also a brand new option exclusively for IRCT, Concert Mode. This mode zooms in the spinner, among other tweaks, allowing you to do more precise tunings than has ever been possible. After making your selection will be returned to CyberEar. It's important to note that any mode except for Fine Tune will expect you to start on A0. That's what you need to know to get tuning with IRCT. Be sure to press the thumbs up button and subscribe if this video helped you so you don't miss the latest CyberTuner tips.